ibotireshop.com. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to figure out if you got a good quality used tire or how much meat is left on your, uh, we call it meat, but how much the difference of threads is left on your tire. Uh, when you're looking for a quality used tire, uh, the, a factory new tire has 8 millimeters of thread. If you look at the tire right here, the thread in the tire should be 8 millimeters of thread on a new tire. Okay, so uh, if you're looking at the tires, this tire right here is a very bad tire. You never want to see a tire like this, and believe it or not, I took this tire off a customer's car about two days ago, and I kept it for the video because there's absolutely no threads on this tire. That means in the rain and in the winter, it's going to be completely sliding. Okay. This, a lot of people say, well, use a penny, use a penny, use a penny. These little things run between $1 to $5. You could pick it up at your auto parts store. What it is, it's a tread depth gauge. And this right here will show you actually how much thread you have left on there. Uh, I go by 30 seconds. There's 30 seconds. No, I go by millimeters, actually. The millimeters are right here, and it goes by 30 seconds. Okay? 8 millimeter is a brand new tire. There's, a, there's a 8 millimeters of thread left on a brand new tire. Now, if you push this all the way down where the needle comes out, it allows you to put it right in between the thread of a tire. When you push it down into the thread of a tire, it will give you a reading. The reading on this one is 8 millimeter. So this used tire was barely driven at all before we were able to get it off the car and uh, sell it as a new tire, or sell it as a used tire. Push it down again, you kind of go around different all over the place. Now see that right there is about 7 millimeters, and that's towards the end of the tire. So this tire was driven on a little bit. No, there's about 7.5 millimeters. So basically it would be about 7.5 millimeters across the top. If you grab another used tire, like over here, these low profile tires, uh, they're, they're not too meaty tires. Uh, when you get them brand new, they're not too meaty. But if you put a thread gauge in there, it has uh, four millimeters of thread left on the tire. There's about four, millimeter, four millimeters of thread left on this tire. So, uh, well, these right here, of course, you get them with eight millimeters new. But we always say with these little rubber tires, I mean, these things right here, they're, they're really not meant for Chicago driving. We got a lot of potholes in Chicago. But like I said, get one of these, and if you're searching for, for a good quality used tire, you see there are some available. I mean, we have, we have, lo we have a lot of them with 90% left on the, uh, on the car itself, you know, but uh, the, the rule of thumb is the penny, too. If you stick the penny upside down and put it in the thread, it'll show you that, yes, it's still a drivable tire. Well, who wants to know, okay, I got the bare minimum of thread on there? I'd rather know that I got a little bit more meat than that. There's a lot of studies showing that a car will break and stop a lot faster if you have more thread on a tire than driving with the bare legal minimum. Well, that's uh, how to use a uh, depth finder thread gauge. Again, the website is www.ibotireshop.com. We stock the, the common type vehicle tires. These right here are a little bit special tires, specialty tires that we have, but average we, we stock the common tires, uh, 14, 15, and 16-inch tires. Thank you very much. Bye.